welcome to the Boom Tequila Podcast. Today, we have an extra special treat in store for you. This is Erin, and I'm going to let Jody introduce our special guest. I'm Jody, and we have our first guest ever, Woo. our good friend Ashley. Say hi. Hi. Tell us a little about yourself. Well, I am 35 years old. I work for a factory. Um, I am engaged. I have a dog, no kids. That's your kid. Well, yeah, my fur, it's my fur baby. <laughs> oh, we're talking yes. about the dog. <laughs> they're, they're also children sometimes. Children's, yes. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much it. We're so happy to have you. I'm happy to be here. Yay. So we... And I'm happy to look at you through the screen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I met Ashley in second grade. Yes, Wasn't I think it? so. So how many years ago was that? Let's play math. Uh, let's play, let's not depress ourselves. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and let's not do that. Yes. So basically nearly 30 years. Oh, wow. Almost. Oh, wow. I might cut that. No. <laughs> yeah, I would. <laughs> and then Ashley met Aaron through me in what, 05, I think? Yeah. Yeah. 04, okay. 05, whenever you went to uh, Yeah, so it was college. probably 04. Yeah. Either 04 or 05, yeah. 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 Which was also... <laughs> A long time ago. Matter of fact, you either you or Aaron did my hair once when you guys were still in school. I don't cool. remember which one. Yeah. It was probably Maybe. you, but I yeah. know Aaron was there. It might have been like a team thing too, where we both did it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did we give you cute little twisties on top of your head? Oh, those probably. Were really, those were really cool. <laughs> it wasn't back then. that long ago when like the butterfly clips. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's talk about new movies, TV shows, all that fun stuff. Have you seen anything good lately, Ashley? Um, I f wrapped up the other day a TV show on HBO Max called The Flight Attendant. Yeah? What's it about? It is about a flight attendant that <laughs> is... No shit. Yeah. <laughs> imagine that. Uh, <laughs> that basically has a sleeps with a man and then wakes up the next morning to him dead. And then the FBI is after her. They think that she did it. And then other people are after her. And I don't, you have to watch. It's very good. It has uh, that Kaylee Cuoco, however okay. you say her name. She was in Big Bang Theory, right? Yeah, yes. Penny. Did you watch that, Erin? Some of it. I thought you might like that. I love Big Bang Theory. Big Bang's funny. I really like it. I miss it. Yeah. But it's one of those that you can watch like any random episode and it's just. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just so like good. um, Shameless, you can watch any episode. And Shameless is back on, isn't it? Yes, it is. M matter of fact, I need to watch uh, Last Sundays. So good. Yeah. I have been to the house. That if you guys know what I'm talking about with Shameless, I've been to the Gallagher house twice now. I love that show. And your dad hung out with Frank Gallagher? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen Shameless, Aaron? I have. Did you love it? Medium. Yeah. Medium. Oh my <laughs> God. It's so good. No, it's good. It got a, it was a little like a little much at times, but overall. Well, that's the point of it. I mean, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> shameless is shameless. It's very shameless. Yeah. So there's plenty of that in there for you to I started, forget about. And I know I've talked about a teacher a lot. That was really, really good. I don't know if it's done. I think it might be done. But I started watching Big Sky on Hulu. That's really good. Hmm, I think it's, I've heard of it. Yeah, it's got Ryan Filthy in it. Oh, and, yeah. Yeah. I remember. You know what? I think he's only in, like, the first episode. And then he, I don't want to give anything, like, spoilers away. Oh. But basically, it's about, like, people, women getting kidnapped at truck stops and trying, like, if the police are involved and blah, blah, blah. But it's on Hulu, and it's really good. Hmm. Have you guys seen the one everyone's talking about, um, Bridgerton? Yes. Oh, I watched that in like two days. Oh, I yeah. Know. I binge watched it so fast. I was like embarrassed with myself. It was really good, though. I oh. saw they're going to have eight seasons, I yes. think. Yeah. Oh, it had like the biggest, what was it? Like the biggest grossing like watch or yeah, something? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. On Netflix. Mm -hmm. It was I don't want to say ever, but. Yes. I really, really love that show. Anything else either of you have watched? Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai. I've, oh, yeah. Now, don't you have to be, don't you have to have, like, um, the Karate Kid? Oh, well, yeah. You, I, I don't think I've ever seen Karate Kid. Really? Yeah. Well, obviously, you have to watch, you know, the first, the second. There's a third. 
Uh, the fourth uh, Karate Kid doesn't have uh, Ralph Ma uh, Macchio in it, but it's still good. How many Karate Kids are there? There's there's four. Oh wow. Well, they they did a remake one of one of, with one of Will Smith's kids later on that, but didn't have uh, Miyagi in there. Okay. It had um, someone else, I think. Yeah. I don't remember, but yeah, it's good. And that's uh, gotten rave re reviews lately too. Yeah, I've seen people talking about it. Erin, did you watch the Karate Kid movies ever? I saw them when I was younger, and my son really liked the one with uh, Jaden Smith. <laughs> Jaden Smith, that's yeah. right. Yeah. But I, if there's any new Jackie ones, Jackie Chan isn't Jackie Chan in that one? I don't, I don't know. I don't remember. But maybe. But yeah, other than that, yeah, it's good stuff. I just know Jaden Smith. <laughs> <laughs> God, he kind of turned out weird. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, like I've checked his Instagram before and he's kind of strange for being Will Smith's kid. I don't know. I'm just going to say it out now there. I'm going to look at his Instagram. I don't know what he's all about. I'm going to check out his Instagram. He's about being unique. Well, himself. yeah, you're right. You're right. I shouldn't say that, but. What I think is the only thing that I have ever seen of Jaden Smith that I've actually thought like that's a little weird was him hanging out with Kourtney Kardashian. She's like old, way older than us, and oh yeah, he's, he's like 40s, right? a teenager, right? Yeah, or maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe he's closer to our age than I thought, but I don't. I I think he's a teenager, but I've also seen in the past. I don't know why I feel like celebrity children don't age ever. No, like you'll see them as a kid, and then it'll be a year later, and it's like, how did this kid get to be 14 years old? Like what? Yeah. Okay, so it says he was born in 1998, and he is 22 years old, according oh, Jayden, to. How is that possible? Google. So he's 22, but still, like, how old is Courtney Kardashian? And maybe I. Sh this is maybe like I. Sh I don't want to be like age shaming or anything. No, but I think she is in her forties. Because I remember an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians where she was like upset. She was born in seventy nine, and she is forty one years old. Yeah. Oh wow. So whatever no, happened to uh, her ex Scott? Because he was kind of yeah. messed he up too. Was dating Nicole Richie's little sister last I knew. Yeah, oh that's wow! I heard. Maybe that's why Courtney's hanging out with those young boys. She's like, "Well, if you're gonna date a teenager, so will I." I don't know. It's creepy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but I think she is like in her early twenties too. Yeah, she's a little older, I thought. But really? Sophia Richie, she's twenty-two. She's also born in nineteen ninety-eight. So yeah, Scott is thirty-seven. Yeah. That's so a lo slightly, slightly less of an age. Really, yet, he's thirty-seven. But... Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought that. Nicole Richie's 39, so he's only two years younger than Nicole Richie. Holy but cow. Like, oh my gosh, I can't do math. 15 <laughs> years older than yeah. his girlfriend. All right, so moving on. Once again, Ashley, thank you for joining us for our Enneagrams episode today. Erin, didn't you initially introduce me to the whole Enneagram thing? I think so. And I kind of got really excited and obsessed with it. I um, think self-discovery is always exciting. Right? <laughs> <laughs> So um, Aaron and I both know what our Enneagram is, and we are going to give the test to our guest, Ashley, and find out what hers is. Before we do that, we're going to go over what each Enneagram is. Okay, so the Enneagram is a basically just a way to assess what your personality is. It's a system that puts you into one of nine patterns or types to basically explain how you relate to other people. And these look at several different facets of our personalities. All right, as we grow into adulthood, you'll find that your motives and fears are dominated by one of the nine Enneagram personality types. Your basic type is largely influenced by biological factors, but is also by your environmental influences growing up, such as family dynamics or parental relationships. The first one is the reformer, the rational, idealistic type, principled, purposeful, self-controlled, and perfectionistic <laughs> is the word. Um, number two is the helper, which is caring, interpersonal type, demonstrative, generous, people-pleasing, and possessive. Uh, but the three, which is actually what I am, <laughs> is the achiever. This is the success-oriented, pragmatic type, adaptive, excelling, driven, and image conscious. Number four is the individualist, the sensitive, withdrawn type, expressive, dramatic, self-absorbed, and temperamental. 
E. Oh. Now this is you. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> Number five is the investigator, the intense cerebral type, perceptive, innovative, secretive, and isolated. And side note, my husband is a number five. <laughs> he really is. <laughs> I, think, I, I just thought of someone else that might be a number five. Yeah. <laughs> None of them are bad, though. No, there's, it's not. It's, not it's just bad. ways of understanding your personality and stuff better. Yeah. The type six would be considered the loyalist. And this person is committed, security-oriented type. And they are engaging, responsible, anxious, and suspicious. Ooh. Number seven is the enthusiast, the busy, fun-loving type, spontaneous, versatile, distractible, and scattered. I am a number seven, <laughs> <laughs> and I love it. Yeah. Number eight is the challenger, the powerful, dominating type, self-confident, decisive, willful, and confrontational. All right. Uh, and then number nine is the peacemaker. And this is honestly what I think Ashley's going to be, but I don't oh, know. Too. If I'm to say that. I thought she was a nice <laughs> for sure. This is easygoing, oh, self. God. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> self effacing type, receptive, reassuring, agreeable, and complacent. Yeah, definitely. So, Aaron and I have already done our tests a while ago, and Aaron is a three. Threes are self assured, attractive, and charming. <laughs> ambitious, <laughs> constant, and energetic. They can also be status conscious and highly driven for advancement. They're diplomatic and poised, but can also be overly concerned with their image and what others think of them. They typically have problems with workaholism and competitiveness. At their best, they are self-accepting, authentic, everything they seem to be, role models who inspire others. Oh, that's you to a T. It's definitely Aaron. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anybody that takes poor little babies in to make sure they have a happy and healthy home is someone I would look as a role model. Yeah. That is you. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Jody is a seven, and that's not on a scale of one to ten. Sevens are extroverted, optimistic, versatile, and spontaneous, playful, high-spirited, and practical. They can also misapply their many talents, becoming overextended, scattered, and undisciplined. They constantly seek new and exciting experiences, but can become distracted and exhausted by staying on the go. They typically have problems with impatience and impulsiveness. At their best, they focus their talents, worthwhile goals, becoming appreciative, joyous, and satisfied. Now, I'm just going to guess that wherever you pulled this from had an at their worst that you left off because you always <laughs> only like to focus on the positive stuff. Is that correct? Or that's no? a, that, yeah, that's the same. <laughs> it's like, I wonder what the at their worst is. Like, I'm not going to do the negative stuff. I'm only going to talk about how fabulous we all are. Oh, yeah. I think that that's very you, too. Yeah. You're always optimistic, and yeah. you are playful, high-spirited. You're, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what we are going to do is give Ashley the Enneagram test. And if you guys would like to take it, if you haven't yet, I will link the site. Um, it is kind of a long test, so I'm probably not going to leave every single question on here for you guys. Otherwise, this might be a little bit of a longer episode, but here we go. So I'm going to ask you questions and then you say either inaccurate, accurate, neutral or you can say there's like five answers you can say somewhat inaccurate somewhat accurate okay you got it uh -huh. okay i strive for perfection somewhat accurate i work hard to be helpful to others accurate it's important to me to achieve great things accurate i feel my emotions very deeply accurate i have a sense that other people will never truly understand me mm. Maybe somewhat, I guess. I don't know. Okay. I think deeply about things. Accurate. I'm prepared for any disaster. <sighs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I seek out experiences that I know will make me feel happy or excited. Somewhat. I see the positive in every situation. Accurate. I am not afraid to tell someone when I think they are wrong. <laughs> somewhat <laughs> accurate. <laughs> somewhat inaccurate yeah yeah probably. <laughs> <laughs> i let other people make the decisions accurate 
I don't fit in with ordinary people. Somewhat accurate. There is rarely a good reason for changing how things are done. Oh, that's inaccurate. Okay. I always finish my chores. <laughs> Neutral. <laughs> Neutral. I'm always trying to be a better person. Accurate. You don't need to try. You're already fabulous. Oh, God. <laughs> I check carefully for mistakes and errors. Somewhat accurate. It's important to me to be successful. Accurate. The organizations I belong to would not function well without me. Damn accurate. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I often feel overtaken by my emotions. Accurate. I avoid situations that bring up negative feelings. Accurate. I'm good at seeing the bright side of things when others complain. Somewhat accurate. I do not hesitate to call people out when they're behaving badly. <laughs> um, I Inaccurate. guess. I don't even know. Because <laughs> of any kind of drama, no. Okay, you choose for me. <laughs> okay. I hold myself to very high standards. Ooh, somewhat. I am a natural caretaker. Yeah, accurate. I feel a deep sense of grief for what I have lost. Very accurate. I distract myself from any sad feelings that arise. Very accurate. I often make changes in my life when things get boring. Somewhat accurate. I tell people what I think even if it is hard to hear. Hmm. Somewhat. I'm, I'm trying to get better at okay. that. I'm trying. Okay. I would rather follow the group than push for what I want. <sighs> accurate. <laughs> Push over. <laughs> yeah. I focus on my responsibilities and duties. Somewhat. I'm not the best, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> over halfway done. Woohoo. <laughs> I can describe my emotions in a lot of depth and detail. I'll say somewhat because sometimes it's just hard to actually say what you feel. Yeah. Hard to find the words. Yes. Yeah. I'm always aware of what can go wrong in a situation. Accurate. I'm always up for a new adventure. Accurate. I let other people take the lead. Accurate. The traditional way of doing things is the best way. Somewhat. All right, last page. Mm -hmm. I make important contributions to my community. Yes, somewhat. I mean, well, I don't know. What would you call going to work every day? Is that accurate? Yeah, you're doing good. Yeah. Contributing to society. Yeah. Okay. I want to learn as much as I can about how the world works. Accurate. Everyone has a role to play in society and a duty to do their best. Accurate. Get my results. Woohoo! Done asking questions. <laughs> Aaron, are you alive? You are a two. What's a two? In a nutshell, two seek to love and help the people around them. They intuitively perceive when others need their support and they offer it unconditionally. Skilled at seeing the good in people, twos will praise others warmly, being always ready with a kind word and a listening ear. They have a knack for making others feel like the most important person in the world. That was my other oh. guess for you, the helper. The helper. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Oh. I was thinking either nine or two. I'm sure nine is a close second. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Type two in brief. Twos are empathetic, sincere, and warm-hearted. They are friendly, generous, and self-sacrificing, but can also be sentimental, flattering, and people-pleasing. They're well-meaning and driven to be close to others, but can slip into doing things for others in order to be needed. At their best, they are unselfish and altruistic. They have unconditional love for others. Oh. That's definitely, that's wow. you, I'd say. It sounds all positive, so that's good. Yes, and we are positive people. Yay, I would say so. You were muted, ding dong. <laughs> I was just gonna say, well, you're not doing that at your worst, so. <laughs> no, we're not talking about that. We're not, we're not negative Nancy's on here. No. <laughs> no, it's time for Joe Jam. Ooh. <laughs> so my song this week, um, Morgan Wallen just released his new double album, and I am obsessed with every single song, anything that man comes out with. He, him and his mullet are just amazing. <laughs> But if I absolutely have to pick one for this week, it would be the song Dangerous. And I promise I'm going to try to not have every week be a new song off this album. <laughs> but it's so good. Listen to it. What about you, Erin? Okay, so I have, it's called I Am by Young Baby Tate featuring Flo Millie. <laughs> and 
she i used this sound on one of my tiktoks and she liked it so i just felt like i should give her a shout out <laughs> oh my god you're like famous now she liked it she liked your yeah. i always thought you were tiktok famous anyway so she well, is for sure yeah basi basically no <laughs> <laughs> i'm not do you have a song this week ashley all right you're gonna laugh at me <laughs> i would never so i don't know if you'd remember the song but it is a it's a song that we used to dance to at our high school dances oh, no. that I happened to uh, just come across. And it's like a, it's, it's a dance song that they'd constantly play and all the strobe lights and everyone would go nuts. And it's called Sandstorm. I don't know. We'd have to play it for you to know it. what it is. It's okay. You can sing it. Yeah, it goes. It. Da, 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 da. Um, that sounds really good. I don't have to play <laughs> it. I, I don't hear. I don't know if I can do this, but it's like right here. There's no words. It's like a dance oh, it's song. Just, it's just like. <laughs> uh, it's it's like, like. It's just. Yeah, it's like. I don't know. I can't do it. I'm not good. <laughs> when you played in band. It's called. Is what's the song called? It's called Sandstorm. By da Darude. 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 Yeah. Sandstorm by Darude. Yeah. You would, out, you'd recognize it if you heard it. I think I know. I think just from your. It's like. I don't know. That's I I found it and I've been listening to it. And then there's a there's another one. <laughs> you got another one? You can have more than one. Well, it was another high school dance because <laughs> it reminded me. It's called Zombie Nation. Okay. That's all I can tell you. That's all I remember. I like how all three of us have the most opposite taste in music. I know, I know. <laughs> no, 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 I like it. I actually like it because Jody's are always like a country song. Mine's always like hip hop or something. And then Ramsey's is, what genre is that? Uh, that's like rave music. Yeah, dance. Rave music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, she's got it. That's <laughs> Yeah, look up sandstorm. She did. It. She did it. <laughs> like literally, you'll recognize it. <laughs> it's it reminds fun. me of something you hear in like that um that like when Facebook first came out and they had that like club that was on Facebook. Oh, nightclub city. We all played that. And I don't it was on, No, that was on MySpace. I'm that was on MySpace. Yeah, you're right. Yes. I like that one. Right. And now it's time to dish, bitch. <laughs> Ew, that was yes. so aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. I <laughs> know. <laughs> it's fine. You're new. You can get away with whatever you want. <laughs> so I can say. You can oh. say it, but we'll clink it out. Oh, clink, whatever. <laughs> so for Dish Bish today, we are playing Would You Rather? And I've got some good ones for you guys. All right, let's start. Would you rather lose the ability to read or lose the ability to speak? Read. Read. <laughs> like so quick when I want to read. I think so too. Because you can yeah. just listen to everything exactly. now anyways. Like I don't need to read ever. Yeah. yeah, exactly. All right. Would you rather be covered in fur or covered in scales? Ew. Ew. <laughs> you can't pick neither. Um... Well, I think if you, well, obviously, if you have fur, you're going to shed. If you have scales, you're going to shed. Ew. I think. Right. You have, wait, if scales shed? Yeah. I think so. Ew. That's so Yeah. Cool. That is a bad question. Because I was like, well, you'd be like a mermaid, but then you'd be like a stinky mermaid. Ew. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess I picked scales because I'll be the mermaid. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather be a mermaid than like a fur baby i'm gonna pick <laughs> for i'm gonna pick fur and then maybe hopefully it's long enough that i can like get it braided or something like maybe I, or i'll do like the twist with the butterfly clips the 90s stuff's coming yes. back right yeah pet it <laughs> and you can shave fur which i didn't think of you can't exactly like, you can't you can't good change thinking you guys are already scaly uh. i'm the cool one with the shaved body oh <laughs> all, <In> right. <laughs> <laughs> all right would you rather live without the internet or live without air conditioning and heating. Yeah, these are the worst. I know. Ooh. Both are awful. Awful. Um, so I'm gonna say the internet just because we've lived without the internet before. That's true. So yeah, I've never personally lived without heating and cooling. Yeah, like I know it's possible, but I think I'd rather go without air conditioning and heating. 
Because I feel like I could cover up. I could get, I have an electric blanket. And if it's really hot, like I'll just take a cold shower, but like stand halfway out with my phone using the internet. I don't know. I feel like I just don't want to go without the internet. But if no one had the internet. No one had it? Yeah, not like just me. I'm assuming like no one would have the internet. Oh, huh. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm still sticking with the internet. I'm going to keep the internet and I'll just be cold and hot all the time. <laughs> There you go. All right. Would you rather be able to teleport anywhere in the world or be able to read minds? Oh, read minds. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Teleport. I think teleport, too. Because I think reading minds would be, like, one of those blessing and a curse. Like, yeah. just the level It would of, be. Like, but at least you'd know. Stuff that I, I did, there are certain things that it's, like, you can't unknow it once you know it. And then you always see it, and it, like, taints your perspective. No, I think I'd get my feelings hurt all the time, and I wouldn't like that. Yeah. Well, I cry at nearly every movie, so it wouldn't yeah. matter to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Would you rather be unable to use search engines or unable to use social media? Social media. Social media. I think so, too. I, th- I need my search engine. Because I use them for everything. Like, even if I don't know how to spell something, I'll just pull up Google and, like, type it in. Oh, yeah. You just ask people on social media for the answer. Yeah. Because then you're going to get your feelings hurt again. <laughs> Yeah, I know. There we are with the feelings. <laughs> Would you rather be balding but fit or overweight with a full head of hair? Balding. Balding. <laughs> Bald and skinny? Yeah, because yeah, then, cause then you can wear wigs. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm already overweight with hair, so I'll just stay the way I am, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Would you rather be beautiful but stupid or intelligent but ugly? Well... You have a better chance of someone really, really being into you by your intelligence. That's true. You know, and you could ruin it by being beautiful and stupid. That's true. So you have a better chance of marrying wealthy by being. (laughs) 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 That's true. And then you don't need to be. (laughs) I'm kidding. That's such a horrible answer. It's obviously better to be smart, but I would pick pretty and stupid. I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't, but I would. (laughs) I think so, too. I think I'd rather be a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather travel the world for a year, all expenses paid, or have $40,000 to spend on whatever you want? Oh, travel the world. Yeah? You said travel the world for a year? Yes. Yeah, that. But would it cost more than 40000 to travel the world? Yes. Well, yeah, definitely. Really? Yeah. 100%. Wow. If you had all expense paid, I mean, you could like probably everything. go everywhere. Ooh, you would. Yeah. And if it was all expense paid, you could fly first class internationally. And eat yeah. whatever you want. Yeah. That would be over 40000 Just paid yeah. whatever I wanted. That'd be over 40000 in like the first couple of weeks. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Would you rather be able to go to any theme park in the world for free for the rest of your life or eat for free at any drive through restaurant for the rest of your life? The first one. Any theme park yeah. in the world? Yeah. Same. I don't really. Fast food's kind of gross. I'll it is. I have to theme pick. parks are more expensive. Yeah, I'd have to pick the first one because I would eat it constantly. I'd be like eighteen hundred pounds. Yep. Yeah. It just. I, I need to go to the theme park and walk off my drive through. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna walk off the Taco Bell. <laughs> would you rather never use social media sites or any apps again, or never watch another movie or TV show? Oh, the first one. Never, never use social media or any apps? Yeah, I need movies. Yeah. I love movies. I think I would agree. I think so, too. Because, I mean, if you think about it, social media really kind of is the devil. Yeah. It is the root of a lot of bad and negative things. That's the number two coming out in her. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I love my movies and my shows, but anybody I really want to talk to, we can just text each other. This isn't technically social media, is it? No. No. Just video chatting? Yeah. Would you rather be fluent in all languages but never be able to travel or be able to travel anywhere for a year but never learn a word of a different language? Oh, that's a good one. B. I would use Google Translate. There you go. Oh, yep. Which yeah. is what I'd have to do anyway, so it'd just be, like, my life <laughs> I that I get to travel. I wouldn't be able to learn a different language anyway. Like I could go to Mexico and, or Spain and kind of put words together and what they're saying just because, yeah. you know, I just Spanish. act deaf. 
I could get by in like a Spanish or Italian speaking country, but not like get by real well. <laughs> yeah. Would you rather have everything on your phone right now, browsing history, photos, etc., made public to anyone who searches your name or never be able to use a cell phone again? Oh. I'd put it out there. Really? I really have, yeah. Who's, who really cares anyways? And if they do, like let them see what weird stuff I'm looking for. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. Sure, yeah. I need my phone. <laughs> you can well, that just me. reminds me of what I looked up, Googled earlier today. Mm. You Google Which was? Today? What was it? Okay. Put it all out there. A little weird backstory. So, no backstory, no context, just tell yeah. us the truth. <laughs> my grandmother has my old cat, Belle, and Belle doesn't have a tail. So, therefore, she has problems pooping. Okay. And my cut, well, Calvin, who lives with you know, my grandma told me that there's an issue with her behind today. So I wanted to make sure that the information that I had before was right. So I, I just Googled do cat or cats with no tails, uh, have issues pooping. That's what I Googled. Okay. <laughs> no tail cats have issues pooping. Okay. Okay. That's it. Okay. So you need to keep your cell phone cause you put it all out there. Yeah. 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 What about you, Jody? Um, hmm. <laughs> Now, what was the last thing you Googled? <laughs> the last thing I Googled, probably how to spell something, actually. You know, the last thing I Googled was fun. Actually, I think it was like inappropriate, would you rather question. It wasn't. You want to know what the last thing I Googled was? What was you already know it because I was talking to you when I was Googling it. What was it? <laughs> Ankle lingerie. <laughs> what is it? Ankle lingerie. Ankle so, lingerie. You mean there's people that are turned on by Amish, ankles? Amish people can't. Amish people can't see their ankles, right? Like, we were talking about our really Amish friend, and she was like, she was joking, but she she was like, send him a pic of your ankles, and I was like, no. And then she was like, you can make a whole um, I don't know, like thing out of it. I was like, like ankle lingerie. So then I googled it to see if it was a thing, and we found this guy who, FYI, he, he was the top search result for his Pinterest board. I guarantee you he does not know that he like comes up as the number one result for this, for his Pinterest board called Ankle Underwear, where he just pins a bunch of like, he's like this boomer dude. <laughs> just, <laughs> a bunch of pictures of like women taken off, like with their panties at their ankles. It's really gross, actually. I don't know why. I didn't need to share that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wow. You learn something every day. Oh, man. All right. Would you rather have the police searching for you for a crime you didn't commit or a psychopathic clown hunting you? Neither. That Pass. Bad. Yeah. You what? Neither. Neither. You got to pick one. I pick like, I mean, if the police are looking for me for a murder I didn't commit, I would like to think that well i would just like we'd be able to clear that up and get out of it but like i don't have a yeah. hundred percent faith in our justice system <laughs> so, right i don't know <laughs> i think i'd rather because even if it the clown like you could you could he's hunting you so isn't he gonna kill you i'd rather go to jail at least i'd have a chance of surviving yeah i'd rather send the clown to jail yeah if somehow but then people would just think you're crazy like if you tried to call the police to get them to help you you're like there's a, cl a psycho clown chasing me they'd be like oh is there okay you ready for this really sexy one yes would you rather have one nipple or two belly buttons man why do you do these weird ones <laughs> <laughs> one nipple one nipple belly buttons really don't do anything so if you know, like an extra nipple or like you only had one nipple or you had to have. No, you just have one. You don't have two anymore. You just have one. Or do you want two belly buttons that or don't do even do like nothing? A <laughs> it doesn't say just one boob. So you might have two boobs, but just one of them has a nipple. Um, I, I, this is really weird. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. I'm going to say one nipple. Then I'm going to just be unique and take, <laughs> take another belly button. <laughs> Can you can you like pick where it goes? Ew. <laughs> I don't think there's any pleasure in having two belly buttons, just saying. But no pleasure in your nipple. In a <laughs> nipple. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not gonna comment. All right. 
Would you rather have a full-blown mustache for a year or permanently hairy legs for 10 years? Could it be 2020 where you're home and no one has to see you with your mustache? Yeah. <laughs> or permanently hairy legs for 10 years? Yeah. I don't really grow that much hair on my legs. So if it was like my natural, like I would pick that. But if I was going to have to have like gorilla legs, then <sighs> these are really sucky. You know, I think I... I think I could rock a mustache for a year. Plus, we're wearing masks all the time anyway, so it doesn't matter. True. Yeah. So I think I'm going to have one of those, um, what are those big mustaches called where they have, like, the swirls on the ends? I think I could rock one of those for sure for a year. Oh, God. What about you? I think I agree. I agree with that. mustache? Yeah. Let's just do, like, one more. Would you rather sleep with someone on the first date or wait for six months? Oh, that's easy for me. Wait six months. Wait six months. Wait six months. Or about five and a half years, you know, whichever <laughs> Whichever. You choose. Yeah. You're feeling. Whichever yeah. comes later. Whichever yeah. comes later. <laughs> Whatever, you know. You don't want to start the relationship off with. Yeah. You need something to look forward to. Physical. Yeah. yeah. Those never end well. I mean, not that I would know. I wouldn't do that, but. You would never do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we are going to wrap it up. Thank you, Ashley, so much for joining us today. Thank you for inviting me. You have been a wonderful first guest. This has been so much fun, and we hope that you join us again. Yeah. If you guys haven't yet, please give us a follow on Instagram at Boom Tequila Podcast. Give us a good review. Give us a share, and we will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Goodbye.